Brian. Uh, so this is your website. Uh, looking at it, I like how it's set up. I like how it looks. I like the layout of it. Uh, one thing I did uh, notice is you only have 633 words of content on your page. Google loves content, so the more content you have, the better. Uh, it will help you rank as well as Google will find more keywords on your website from that. Um, you don't want to keyword stuff, but you want to put keywords in there organically, make it flow nice, and uh, have more content. Um, next thing would be images. Let's see what you got them saved as. A lot of people don't do this right. Uh, so you'd want this to be saved as a keyword. So, you know, Rough Repair, Maple Grove, or Rough Repair, uh, uh, Coon Rapids, Rough Repair, North Branch, or, you know, whatever. Um, whatever keyword you want to rank for, you know, whether it's gutters or siding or windows or, you know, whatever it is that you want to, uh, you want to do or storm restoration. Um, I went to Coon Rapids. Uh, it looked a little closer to you than, you know, it looks like you're a little bit away from the Twin Cities. Uh, so I just chose Coon Rapids, but you know, you're going to find a lot of keywords when I check out these guys, um, for the, you know, for Maple Grove, for, you know, places around this, you know, for cities in the Twin Cities. Um, you got uh, ads would come up first. Uh, these yet to be uh, verified by Google. They're supposed to be a little less spammy. Um, and then you got their normal ads here. And then you got the GMB. And then you got the organic ranking. Grabbing this top guy, looking at his website. Uh, his website looks pretty nice. Also, he's got 1,233 words. So, you know, I'd have probably... At least 50, I would probably have 2,000 words on your website. I like to go about double what uh, the next competitors have. And you, you, know, you don't have to stop there. You can keep going. The more, photo, the more content you have, the better. Uh, it's just going to help you. You can never have too much. Uh, let's see what this image is saved as. He, he almost has it right. He would, you would want to have, um, you know, you'd want to have like, or, uh, you know, Coon Rapids or Maple Grove or something that you'd want to rank for. You'd want to have it like that. Let's see if he does it right on another one. No, he doesn't. Um, so he's he's almost there, but he's not. So now you got an advantage. It's a missed opportunity if you don't. He doesn't do it there either. Uh, so he doesn't do it, really. Um, it's a missed opportunity not to do it. Google, it can't, uh, it doesn't see what uh, it doesn't see the photos, but it sees what they're saved as, and then it gives you a keyword based off of that. Uh, putting you into Arifs, uh, you got 11 UR DR.6, 110 backlinks, 18 referring domains, 26 keywords, and you get about four people a month to your website. Um, let's see what keywords you're ranking for. Uh, so this, uh, that's, yeah, that's you. And then you got Andover, MN Roofing, uh, 20 and 0. Uh, you're on the first page for, obviously, yourself and then that one. Um, obviously, and you're on the second page for that one. Uh, but Ref Repair Blaine, 20 and 0. Andover, Maple Grove, 150 and 0. So this is the volume, how many people search that a month. Here's the KD. The lower the KD, the easier it is to rank for. The higher, the harder. Also, if you're doing uh, Google Ads, this one no one's spending money on this click, where people are spending 17 bucks a click for Andover. Uh, and there was only 20 people that searched that a month versus 150. Uh, so you know, I would, I would, if you're doing Google Ads, I would target this keyword. Um, I'm sure there's other keywords in here as well. Uh, but let's go check out your competitor, for, see what he's got. Uh, so you got 29 UR, 14 DR. So his UR is pretty good. DR is decent. It could be better. I like, I like it better, but. Um, you know, for you, that's good because you can beat that. He's got 410 backlinks, 145 referring domains, 881 keywords he's ranking for. And he gets about 339 people a month to his website. Uh, let's go check out his backlinks. So uh, not all backlinks are created the same. Uh, so you want to go after high strength ones, high DR, high UR scores. And you want to go after ones that are relevant to your industry. You don't want to go after fast food. You don't want to, to go. You don't want to go after you know a mommy blog or something that's not um, relevant to your industry. Uh, so you know you'd want to get like roofing or construction or uh, you know some type of contractor. You know those type of those type of websites linking back to you or you know web pages. Uh, so this is a Pinterest. Uh, let's see what ones he's got. That's a directory. Let's see what this is. Uh, 
Yeah, this looks like a directory to me as well. Maybe. Yeah, that's a directory. I just got so you could figure out how to get that and get yourself added there. Um, more directories, Twin Cities, Coronavirus. Let's see, this might be a news article. How did he get a backlink here? Where did he get it? Small construction company. Right here. So he might have paid them to get a link, or he might have just been as simple as um, calling them up and telling them, uh, you know, just giving them, just talking to them and giving, you know, doing like some type of interview with them. Um, you know, he might know the, someone that works there. I don't know, but uh, he got a backlink from this. And I believe it's not a bad backlink. Uh, Twin Cities 81 and 13. Yeah, that's a pretty good one because the DR is generally a harder one to uh, get up than the UR. So that's a uh, pretty good backlink. So you could ask, you could go reach out to them and see uh, if you could get one too yourself. Um, you could go after your other ones, check out all the competition, and try to get the best backlinks. And you don't want to get spamming ones. You don't want low, you know, single-digit ones. Um, ones you can get, you know, you can get blog comedy, you can get blogs, you can get guest posts, you can get. Uh, directories, you can get uh, uh, sponsors, news articles, like the one I showed you. Um, and there's, I think there's another one I'm missing. But uh, there's a bunch of them. And, uh, you know, you don't have to stop at just this guy. You can go check out all the other ones and uh, start beating this guy when it comes to that. Let's see what his, uh, his uh, keywords are. So Riffing Minneapolis MN 100 volume, 18 KD. The lower the KD, the easier it is to rank for. The higher, the harder. Uh... Obviously, that's not location specific. It's just a near me. You could go for it if you wanted, but you don't have to. Um, I like the you know ones that actually have a city. 150 and 18. Let's see if I can find a really nice one. Minneapolis riffing right there. 200 people search for the month. 5KD. So it's pretty easy to get. Uh, what else? Uh, Riffy pair Blaine. 20 and zero. You know, it's not much volume, but uh, really easy to rank for. Also, Google Ads really nice on that. Uh, let's see. Siding Minneapolis, 40 and 1. Flat Rough Repair Minneapolis, 20 and 1. Uh, Cedar Residential Rough Installation, 100 and. Oh, wait, sorry. That's not location specific, so cancel that. Uh, roughing Contract is Woodbury, MN. Siding Repair Minneapolis. Coon Rapids. Siding Contractors, Minneapolis, right there. That's a nice one right there, 101. Gutter Installation, 60 and 1. Those are two really nice ones right there. Um, but yeah, anyway, you can come check out all these guys. You can go check out other people. There's a ton of cities, uh, you know, a ton of suburbs and everything around the Twin Cities. So there's a lot of opportunity there. I don't know how far you go into the cities. Uh, Ruffing Minipo Grove, Riffer St. Paul. Um... But, you know, there's plenty of them out there. Um, next thing I'm going to show you is uh, the GMB. Uh, so go in here, grab this guy. Uh, if you don't have one, set one up. It's free to do. You can, you know, you don't have to just stick to your city. You can go, if you know a guy, you just, you know, you just need an address to verify. Uh, so, you know, if, if you know someone in a bigger city that you service, I uh, can set, a G set up a GMB there. Um, you want to make sure you set it up 100%. Then you want to have as many photos as you can. The more photos, the better. Uh, the photos are the content for your GMB. And then uh, citations would be next. Uh, you want to citations are just directories. You want to make sure you the name of your GMB and the citation or directory are the same. The phone number and the location. Um, this guy only has he has 39 citations, so it's not too many. Uh, you can see what they are. Citations like Yellow Pages, Yelp, BBB. Uh, you can get social social profile citations too. Uh, like Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, uh, Pinterest. And this is not loading. Here it goes. 
Uh, so, you know, he's got Facebook, he's got BBB, MapQuest, Zillow, uh, Yellow Pages. Um, but yeah, you know, you can just click on one and you can go there and you can see his and then you can just, you know, uh, click for businesses and get your management for your listing and get one for yourself. Um, and you can go get all of them. You can go Google for more. There's a bunch of them out there. It's time consuming, but uh, it's something you can definitely do and start ranking for your GMB. Uh, hopefully that helps. Uh, if you want, we can talk more. I'd love to hear your feedback on this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good rest of your day.